Y254. Imagine. Welcome back. This is still matters concerning financial literacy today, right here on Y in the morning. If at all you're just joining us, I am Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you today. Uh, we are still back with Killian today, my brother here. Uh, we are talking about matters concerning financial literacy, and uh, I love the feedback that I'm getting. I'm, uh, they, let me read a few of your comments. I got some inboxes here from uh, some guys. Let me just sample a few of them. This is uh, Maggie. Maggie is saying, thank you so much, Killian, for this. I never knew how important living within my means can be. Thank you so much for uh, coming today. As I understand. Yeah, this is David. Mm -hmm. David is saying, thank you so much, Killian, for this discussion. Thank you, Asana. Asana. Uh, I'm seeing this is Kimani. Kimani saying, good morning. I'm loving the show, enjoying it from Eldoret. Thank you so much for in the morning. As I understand. Uh, Victor is saying, good morning, Ram. Uh, enjoying the discussion today. Um, looking forward to having more of such because many youths do not know how financial literacy affects them in their daily duties. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much. A blessed to you too, my brother. All right. So, Killian, let's touch on other issues. Financial literacy cannot be achieved when someone has loans. Correct. When you're on the, on, 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 on the break, you said that it's one sign yes. of financial literacy. Let's, let's talk about that, loans and how it affects youths. And now what happens is that many people take loans mm. uh, for consumption. That means for use. Huh? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you are struggling to repay the loan. What should be the purpose of a loan? For investment. Take a loan to invest? Yes, because... Not when, to consume. Correct. Because when you invest the investment will be repaying the loan and your finances will not be stretched. Your finances will still be free because the repayment of the loan is coming from the investment or the purpose for which you are used to the loan, mm -hmm. including financing of the interest. Mm -hmm. So in that case, your finances will not be overstretched. But you realize that most of us, especially young people, we are in a hurry just because of this issue of not living, living to impress others. Eh? <laughs> you take a loan, you borrow heavily, so as to finance your own personal consumption. Uh, which uh, I would also like to approach it from another theory that is used in uh, finance or in, in economics, the, the life cycle model of consumption, mm. uh, which, which basically say, states that uh, people spend, uh, base their spending decisions around their um, uh, permanent income that they expect to get over their entire life cycle. And this model simply sta says that uh, when people are still very young, like the people we are addressing now are below 25, huh? mm. this is the age where people consume heavily. It is good for them to know that. Mm. This is the age where people consume heavily, including taking a loan to consume, not to invest. Mm. So they should be wary of this. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when, at this time, most of them are not responsible. They don't have any families. They don't have any dependents. And because of that, they live a, a life of, of wastefulness. So to avoid that, it is important for them to realize that when life begins to catch with, up with them in the middle age, they will look back with a lot of regret mm. at, the, at, at what they had that they never made good use of. So wow. it is very, very important for them to begin understanding that this is the time that they waste a lot of their potential, a lot of their financial what? potential. So to avoid wasting that, this is the time for them to begin saving. And I know there's somebody who has just received the text from that loan app. Yes. Dear customer. Yes. I don't know how they, how, how they normally write it. Yes. But I, I guess it could be, dear customer, please pay a loan of Correct. X, Y, Z. Correct. Or we inform so and so. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if they, do they, I don't know if they write or we will inform. I don't know if they write that. S some of them do. Oh, they write, okay. Yeah, some of them do. Yeah, so what normally happens is that, just like we were saying, mm. uh, people are always trying to stretch beyond their means. 
Yeah. So I take this loan, I take this loan, I take this loan. You find these people taking multiple loans from different apps. And we are looking at this young man. Correct. In campus. Correct. And wants to take the girlfriend out. Correct. And decides to take a mobile app loan. Correct. Munachuanga pesanga pis. You come up. Correct. I'm saying the camera operators are laughing. Munachuanga pesanga pis. Ten thousand, thirty thousand. I don't know why you take your girlfriends out. But is is that okay? And and you, it is not okay because you know this loan. The moment you get in, yeah. it is very difficult to get out, if not impossible, because they they will give you that ten thousand. Actually, they begin with a lower figure. Then the day you re, the day you refund, mm. you, you know you are left without any money. And they can, you realize that they can give you money again instantly. They start with 2,000. Correct. If I'm not wrong. Yes. Right. Then this 2,000, you refund, they tell you take 3,000. Mm. So it goes like that. By the time you realize you reach 30,000, mm. the interest you paid is more than that 30,000. By yeah. the time you're reaching 30,000. Yes. Yes. The interest you paid is more than that what? That amount. And then you end up being stuck there because now you cannot, re you cannot repay this amount. And other areas of your uh, financial planning is affected by this one loan. Campus mm. life is difficult. Correct. For some. It but is now, difficult for now, some. But now in this aspect of, of loans, most people who take loans are campus kids. Correct. That is true. Campus kids. I, wa I want us to address this, 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 this lot of people. Correct. Correct. And, and, and find <laughs> out uh, how to oh, be oh, a Taking a loan to take your girlfriend out, taking a loan to pay for someone else's rent. Correct. Mm. <laughs> because was trying to squeeze Sure, you sure. <laughs> Very true. Mm. Taking a loan to pay for someone else's makeup. Yes. Mm. Taking a loan to pay for someone else's transport. Yes. I'm saying, oh, babe, nataka kwanda shule, nataka kufanya hii, sina, oh, sawa, you know I love you. Eh, there is this say. phone I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There is this phone I yes, saw. Yes, yes. Uh, and she has an iPhone. Correct. <laughs> and Stop. you yourself, you don't have one. No, you are, you've got that, that kabambi. Correct. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, uh, what, what, what I want to tell these people, mm -hmm. number one, the way we began, live within your means. I hope they are hearing me. My friend here, Killian. Live within your means. That is number one. <laughs> Number two, uh. you don't have to, if you are in campus, you, you, it's, it's just four years, and then you'll get out of it. Yeah. So why should you mess up with your future potential because of what you are going, the way you're going to do things in just four years' time? So think about it, that when you are doing something like financial planning, you think long term. Mm. When you're talking about your personal goals, because financial planning or financial literacy is geared to your own personal goals. Because these personal goals have financial implications in every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you think beyond the campus. You think beyond five, four years. You think long term. Think beyond your nose. Yeah, think beyond your nose. And avoid <laughs> these unnecessary things that uh -huh. will put you in trouble. Now, yeah. Gillian, yes. how can somebody avoid overspending? Overspending, a very big problem for many youths. Number one, and the obvious one, mm. have a budget. Budget. Have a budget. And a budget, mm. by definition, is a financial plan that is made prior to the period for which it's in intended. Be financially literate and yes. have a budget. Correct. Have a budget before that time, and then follow it. Use it, follow it to the letter. Once you have money, before you spend it, correct. Sit down with the pen and paper, and if possible, come a esabu ningumu calculator. Yes. Correct. <laughs> calculator. Actually, I've seen some people, and I really, I smile when you're in a supermarket. Uh. But smiling, but I know these people are doing a good thing. Uh -huh. You see someone walking with a piece of paper, uh. with a trolley, and uh -huh. a calculator. And a calculator. Yes, when they are doing their shopping in My a supermarket. My sister likes doing that. Yes. Your <laughs> sister is good. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> she takes my phone. Yes. Say, oh, like, what do you want? Yes. Like a calculator. So I, oh, yes. I used to ask her. Yes. You don't know how to just add this and this and this. Yes. Kumbe, she's trying to limit her expenses. Correct. So that when you reach there, the, the till, mm. you pay within your means. You know what you're paying. Do you know that most people walk into a supermarket with a list which they never follow? 
you step in, mm. you know those offers they're strategically put next to the door. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you see the first offer you pick, uh, you forget about your list. Then you begin yeah. picking things arbitrarily. Yes. When you reach there, they tell when you are paying, when you're reaching for your pocket, that is when you hear some piece of paper in your pocket. And you're like, you end up buying everything that you had never gone to buy. Things you did not need. Yes. So those are some of the things that we can avoid by having a budget. Write a list. Correct. Have a shopping list. Correct. It, it, it doesn't make you weak or strong. It doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong, actually. Have a budget. Yes. Go to the supermarket with it and follow it to the letter. Correct. The moment you step in that supermarket, the first thing you should reach for is your list. Some people look at something and like, oh, I forgot to add this in Correct. the list. Correct. Should you add that? When you are there. When you are there. You can add when you are there. Remember we said that you have a budget. Eh? Mm. Even before coming with this list, eh? yes. there was already a budget. Mm -hmm. If whatever you had forgotten to put there is within your budget, within that budget, you can just go ahead and add it. I want you to, to talk to, and hear, what was agenda Tafadhali Musinigonge. Ladies have this problem. <laughs> yes. They walk in town and the first thing they see on the uh, display that they like, even though they were going for some meeting somewhere, they'll have to go into that shop yes, and buy, buy it. it. Yes. Here, what do they call it? Um, impulse buying. Impulse buying, correct. Yes. Impulse buying. That is a sign of uh, financial illiteracy, that impulse buying. Mm. Because when you're buying on impulse, you are buying not because you need it. When you are buying on impulse, you are buying something that is appealing to only your emotions, mm. but not something that you need, or something that is going to appeal to your immediate wants. So you are supposed to, even that time you are writing a budget, you are writing a budget based on your immediate needs, not based on your emotional impulses. Because this thing that you see, and then you walk in, you know the person who has put it strategically there, knows that the moment you see it, you'll walk in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, most people... It's a, it's, it's a trap. It's a trap, correct. <laughs> it is a big, big, big trap that, <laughs> that makes people to, 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 to go beyond their means. Yeah. 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 And that is the time you'll begin calling so-and-so, I wanted to do this, but, oh, there is this emergency, in quotes, because mm -hmm. you've already spent your money on things that you never needed in the first place. Let's avoid impulse buying. Correct. But I thank you, Brenda, for that. For, mm. for that. I was looking for that terminology. Yeah. Impulse, impulse buying. buying. Yes. Mm. A problem for, for many. I don't know if men have that problem also. Yeah. I don't know it, if mostly men. ladies, but some men also have that problem. Some men have that problem. Yeah. It, it, it cuts across the gender divide, ah. even though it is more prominent in one gender. <laughs> <laughs> but it cuts across the divide. Ah. Yes. unataka. <laughs> yeah. Umwana hiyo yeah. unataka. Yeah, true. In the middle of the night, you just wake up, you say, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. I, want, I want this. At 2 a.m., yes. you want a chocolate. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I want us to talk to the parents, Killian. Yes. I'm looking at this parent who is um, thinking about the future of their child. Yes. We have young couples watching today. Yes. They have a child, two, three years, five, yes. four, six years yes. of age. Yes. How can parents ensure that they secure a safe, fin they have a safe financial future for their child? And here I'm looking at wanting to have a child that is financially literate, who can be able to sustain themselves as they grow up. Let's talk to the parents now. The first thing that I will tell the parents is that they need to walk the talk, that is number one. Because uh, the best way of training a child mm. is by showing them what you've done as a yeah. parent. Yeah. Yeah. My son, I want you to do this, mm. but look at what I have done. Mm -hmm. I, I, I remember when I was growing up in the village, my dad would tell me that uh, this is the, my level of education. He would tell you. Yeah. Maybe but yours up. must be better than mine. Mm -hmm. That is what he would tell me. Wow, that's a good point. And I actually look back and, 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 and look back very proudly because I achieved that. He would tell me that this is where I've reached, mm. but yours needs to be much higher than what? Mine. Mm. In the same way, when you are sitting down with your children as a parent, it, 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 it motivates them if they are seeing something tangible that you have done from your own financial planning, from your own uh, achievements. Mm. So the first thing that a parent should do is that sit down with your children, 
talk to them about uh, about uh, their, their future plans. Mm -hmm. And as you talk to them about their future, tell them that this one I did long before you were born. Is there anything in your house back at, in the village that was uh, done long before you were born and you can still see it today? Yeah. Yeah, those are the things that will motivate people that if mm -hmm. my dad or my mom did this before mm -hmm. I was born, mm -hmm. it means I can also begin doing things at a very early age. Yeah. You don't have to wait because you know when you wait, uh, th there is something here that I, ne I needed to talk about earlier. The, the, the motivation to come from within. Don't wait for circumstances to push you. To financial literacy. Correct. Because when circumstances are pushing you, it will not be successful. But if the motivation to do it is coming from within, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. it becomes very successful. So yeah. before, mm. you, before life gives you a hard slap on the back, correct. Mm. make an intentional decision correct. <laughs> to be financially literate. Correct. Make intentional financial decisions correct. and plan. And a plan. That is correctly put. Mm. Yes, so mm. Mm. that is what I want to talk to the parents outside there. Uh, if, if you are still very young, you can do something that your children will see and motivate them and say that, yes, my parents did this and I want to do better than that. Talk mm. to them about planning. Talk to them about their future. Talk to them about the need to save. Begin put inculcating some, 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 some traits that you know will make them to be responsible citizens. Is, 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 mm. is there, is, uh, Kilion, I'm, I'm wondering, yes. is there like a certain age that, that a parent should consider and say that, okay, now my child is old enough to have discussions concerning money? Because most parents will be like, no, ajakuwa mkuba, acha, acha, that, that, is, bado. that is where we go wrong. Mm. That age of ajakuwa mkuba bado, that is the age we should start. Because, you know, most things that stick here for long mm. or for good, they are those things that you were told when you were still very innocent. Mm. They will stick here for good. So even though someone may, not, may still be very young, mm -hmm. just uh, start talking to them about it. They will not be getting the concept, but it will get here. I'm sure there are certain things that you were told when you were still very young. Mm -hmm. You were not seeing the sense by then. Mm -hmm. And you ignored. Mm -hmm. And when you were fully grown up, yeah. you remembered. And exactly. at least you have a point of reference that I used to be told this, Kumbe, it was true. Even though I did not understand yes. it then, then but now but I understand. I'm understanding, it. yes. So it's good to begin early. Because the more you wait, you know, they say that you cannot bend a tree when, <laughs> you, when it's already fully grown. Mm. You start bending it when it's still young, flexible, mm -hmm. and it can go any shape that, in direction that you want so, it to So go I'm to. looking at this parent who is asking yeah. us th themselves, so how can I make my child to be financially literate? Niazi VP, sh do I start with that 10 shillings or that 100 Correct. shillings? You know? Correct. Uh, uh, Kilion, let's be basic. Correct. Here. What is the language? You can start with that 50 shillings, right? Mm. You give to your, your child. And you tell them, you tell this child that I want to see this being 100 shillings after two years, for example. <laughs> okay. I want to see this being that after this. You, you talk about uh, what you want the child to do. Mm. The how of doing it, you leave open for the Is it okay to be giving children money? I'm a total mekujia. And, and I know some parents hate these things because I, I've, been, I've been to places, even in church. You are in church and some child you don't know comes to you, you pesa. You know, parents will be like, Kum tota love you, and, and there is this um, foggy idea about it. Uh, is it okay to be giving children money? We are talking about financial literacy. Uh, like what I mentioned, it, it's in, in the context in which you are putting it, it's not right to give out money. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the context at which I'm putting it, correct? Okay. It's not right. Eh? Mm. I was saying that you give your child money and you mention something, yes, that I want this to grow into this, exactly. I want you to think of what you will do with this, mm -hmm. right? Mm. I'm giving you this today because I want you to become a responsible person in the future. Mm. So, see what you can do with this, see what how you can multiply it. So they can do that through either saving. Through savings. You give them today this money. Correct. And, and if they get some money tomorrow, they can save again. Correct. So you should give them ideas on how they can be able Correct. to Correct. And even the young people who are watching me outside there, mm -hmm. the more responsible you come, you become, the more you will continue getting from the source you had received. 
because that source is keenly watching how you are using whatever you are exactly. given. Exactly. Yes. So the more you use it responsibly, mm -hmm. the more you will continue being given. Not that we when you mtoto mepewa pesa enda kwa duka na urudishi yes. change. Correct. Urudisha change mwenye alikutuma ndiye kuambie chukua. Si eti una, unaenda kwa duka then ukirudi unaanza kuomba iti si asahau tu. Si asahau tu alisaini ulisha change. Hmm? Is that good? is that financial literacy? Man? Yes. Huh? Yes. So <laughs> it's also <laughs> A way of gaining the trust and confidence of the source where the, the, the funds are coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that is what parents should do with their children. Yeah. Sit down, talk about with them on what they are supposed to be doing. Yes, it is good for people to go for white uh, collar jobs. But do you know that most of these things that uh, people ignore, they, they bring quick income even more than white collar jobs, mm -hmm. the so-called investments. Yeah. They bring income within a very short uh, period of time. They bring a lot of profits. Now, mm. I want us to talk about couples, financial literacy for couples. Yes. And here, my brother Killian, I know, I, I, I know you've handled such cases Correct. where people mm. come for, for you for financial advice. Correct. A couple asks this question, and uh, a couple may ask, should I have my own financial plan, savings plan, and my partner, should they have their own savings plan? Should we have different accounts? We are talking about financial literacy. Correct. Right? Yes. I believe this also plays a role. Correct. Here. It plays a big role. How can couples ensure that they are financially literate even as they work in cohesion? Yes. I like the way you put your hands like this. <laughs> <laughs> couples like are like this. Yes. Right? They are one. They are one. And because of that, uh, they are supposed to plan together. You know what makes those problems to occur, my brother, mm. uh, when I'm dating, I'm a young man I'm, and I'm dating, mm. uh, there is a tendency of living by impressing the lady. Yeah. I want to create an <laughs> she, impression that I'm very rich. Kubwa. Yes. So I go and borrow those things uh, privately to come and impress her. Mm. And so she makes a decision to come and tie the knot with me. While in reality, my financial status is very what? Very low. Mm. So the moment we begin living together, the reality comes in. So to avoid all those things, mm -hmm. number one, be open to each other about your finances. That is the starting point. Be open to each what? Each, each other. other. The moment you have been op uh, open to each other about your finances, then plan together. Mm -hmm. Sit down. By the time you are drawing that list, don't draw it like I saw someone drawing a list somewhere. Uh. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And passing to another person who was sitting with a piece of paper, taking uh. and putting an X. Whatever has been ticked has been approved. Whatever has been put an X has been what? Rejected. Re rejected. You get that? Uh. So I, I did see that being that nice in a, in, a, in a family setting. You are supposed to sit down together. Of course, it was happening because the income was coming from one source. Eh? No, so, so no, 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 not that you have this list where each person does their own uh, um, expenses. If, if we do our own personal expenses, mm. what about the family expenses? Because personal expenses and family expenses are not the same. You get that? Mm -hmm. What about family? There will be a conflict somewhere. Mm -hmm. okay. Why don't we put our personal expenses, for example, mm -hmm. in the family budget. Yeah. See, it can work out. Family budget. Yes. Not individual budget. Yes. In the family budget, we can do that. So that after you put them there, we break down, and now you take yours for your personal expenses. I take mine <coughs> for my personal expenses. It brings a lot of financial discipline, by the way. Mm. Because I know how much you have, and <laughs> you will not waste it. <laughs> you also know how much I have. <laughs> some don't know. Yes, they don't know. They're like, ah, you, you. And, and some men say, mm. you don't give a woman your mind. Don't, don't, don't let her know your mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. uh, and they say, you, you sh she should not know how much you earn. Atakudarao kama mwanaume. You know, is that right? You know, what, 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 everything has got its own pros and cons. When someone does not know how much you earn, there is always a tendency to believe that you have it all. Yet you don't. Yet you don't. But for, for, for good 
couple yes. fa or family financial literacy, yes. mm -hmm. you should know how much Correct. the both of you are. Yes. Work together. Correct. Budget together. Correct. Spend together. Within your means. Within your means. Because you already know. <laughs> <laughs> you already know where your means is. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. Kilian, I want us to, 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 to uh, wrap this conversation up. There are so many questions that I want to ask you. But because of the interest of time, uh, uh, what would be your final word concerning financial literacy to Kenyans watching you today? Uh, I want you to speak to them directly, one-on-one. -on -one. That is your camera there. I want to tell the Kenyans watching me that uh, we are living in very hard economic times, and we all understand this. And so please don't be wasteful on what you have. Begin by understanding where you want to go and when you want to get there. Plan for it and the decision to save and work towards it begins now. That is what I can tell you now. Wow. Well, yeah. Thank you so much, Kilian. I, I appreciate your presence today. Welcome. And there's so many things we've not covered. Maybe sure. we'll find time again and talk time. about this. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we have f f f f books. Correct. Do books play a role? When Correct. it comes to financial literacy, Correct. reading Correct. books, they do. Huh? They Listening do. to podcasts on finances and videos on on on, on social media, uh, do they also play a role? Do does visiting a financial coach or professional also play? play uh, they do. Play they a play role? a role. They they all play. Yeah, a role. they play a role. Dep well. Especially depending on the type that you are watching. How can someone reach out to you if they want to get a hold of you? Oh, oh. they can reach out on me on my number. 0735 Asante sana. Karibu sana. You can say th those numbers again. Uh, 0725 528412 Asante sana. I can be reached anytime. Mm. And I will be available to offer advice, the requisite advice. But only if you're available on social media, Pierre. I am available on, on, on the social media. Mm. You can find me on LinkedIn. My name is Kilion Amolo. Mm -hmm. You can find me on uh, Instagram, Kilion Amolo. You can find me on Facebook, Kilion Amolo. I don't use those funny names. <laughs> 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 well, brother, thank you so much for coming. You are most welcome. I, I appreciate your presence. Yes. Youths need to learn this financial literacy. Thank they need you. to learn this. Very, very important. Thank Even you. Even as they grow for couples. And I'm glad that you've managed to shed light on all these things. A big thanks to Kilio Namolo. Thank he you. He is a lecturer uh, and uh, a financial consultant, yes. a researcher. Mm -hmm. Also, she's... Ba she, uh, Sorry, it's okay. He mm -hmm. is at uh, KCA University. Yes. And I, I'm sure your students must be proud today. Oh, sure. Thank huh? you. Yes. You can pick my coffee. I don't want to pick here, wherever they are. <laughs> Well, that brings us to the end of um, this discussion right here on Why in the Morning. My Thank name is you. Ram Maguko. It has been a pleasure being with you today. We are taking a short break, but we'll be back with more right here on Why in the Morning. Thank you.